how would I describe lupus? Well, I feel like you have been hit by a Mack truck. It's the, the never ending flu. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune condition where your immune system starts to attack self. In lupus, that attack can be on any organ system in the body, which makes it difficult to diagnose. It's a chronic disease. There's no cure. It tends to target women between the ages of 15 and 45, and women of color are four times more likely to develop lupus. It's hard to live with. Imagine driving a car, but your taillights are out, your tires are going flat, your parking brake is engaged, you're leaking fuel, but yet you still have to figure out how to merge onto this interstate at a high speed. You have to still do it. That's what living with lupus is like. Welcome to my story. It's Angel's Lupus Journey. Hey, it's your girl, your guardian angel, and it is our day. Sorry we missed our, uh, well, I missed our um, day last week. I had been preparing for today. Today is Monday, actually, and you'll get this video um, on Sunday. Not everybody knew what was going on. Really, nobody knew. You see my mom in the background, um, and she's waving. I am having to have surgery today, um, and so I am here. I'm all getting a, a goodie bag right now before surgery and um, all ready to go back um, in about 30 minutes or so. So that's why I haven't been feeling good. So that's why I had, did not get a video to you guys on last Sunday, but you will get this one. Um, and I uh, hopefully will have a piece of it to let you know that I'm doing good afterwards. So this is just the beginning piece of it. Um, and so I am having a surgery. I don't really want to go into any details about it right now, um, but I will at a later time. I just wanted to let y'all know that I was thinking about you even in the midst of this time right now. And um, I will get back with you all soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, it's your girl, your guardian angel, and it is still our day. Um, it's another day. As you can see, and it's dark in here. I started to just do a voiceover, but you can see me a little bit. So um, I figured just to come on here and let you see me um, for as much as you can. The last part of the video, you saw that I was in the hospital and I was getting ready to have surgery. I did have the surgery and um, the surgery itself went well. However, I went in with one um, with one IV in my arm. They didn't use my port. I woke up with three other sticks. Why? Because I infiltrated, meaning the anesthesia, instead of it going into my veins, went into my body and into my muscles, and it puffed up my skin, underneath my skin, instead of going into where I needed to go. So I, I needed more anesthesia. I needed um, a bigger anesthesia than what they had given me before. I had to be ventilated, meaning the tube was put down my throat um, in order for me to breathe. Um, and they, I don't know what, I don't know what went on, to be honest. What I do know is that as a result, I couldn't move for days. Um, when I tried to move, I was in extreme pain. They told me that um, this one side effect of infiltration um, of your, when you're using anesthesia is that you're, it messes with your muscles and your muscles truly, truly hurt and hurt badly. So um, I couldn't move and my muscles were like really, really hurting so bad. Um, I... It just took days and days before me to be able to move, get up, uh, feel feel that I couldn't laugh, uh, any of that. i um, doing a little bit better now. I'm able to move. I'm still having some sort of, comp some different complications. Um, but hey, it's almost Christmas. We ought to be thankful. I'm thankful that I'm here, that I'm alive, that pathology um, I found out today that the pathology came back normal, so that's great, um, great news. I don't have anything cancerous or anything going on in my body, um, and yeah, it, 
and I'm just blessed. Um, but I know that you all haven't seen me, and this is why. So I just am coming to you to let you know where I am, where I've been. And, and if you don't get a message from me before Christmas or on Christmas, Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, no matter what you do with your day, um, whether you are with your family um, or you're being safe in, in your homes um, with COVID. I, I understand right now in Virginia, our hospitals are getting full um, because of the people, you know, being with their family and, and stuff for Thanksgiving. So they're like 80% at capacity and are changing um they've decided to change the um the lord i'm having a brain fog moment they change the visitation for the the patients where they can only have visitations between 12 p.m and 8 p.m and only they will want to limit it to only one person the whole hospital stay so it's getting serious it was already serious it's getting more and more serious so people please be safe Please, if you don't have to go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Um, I had to go to the hospital. I had to have surgery. I have to go back to the doctor. Um, I have to do these things. I have to be around my family in order for me to take for them to take me to my visits and stuff. So um, we do. We have to do. But Lord, I just say to everyone: if you don't have to go, don't go, and make sure that you all are being as safe as possible, wear your mask, wash your hands, and try not to spread. If you're feeling bad, definitely get checked out um, and put yourself first as far as taking care of yourself. Um, everybody needs to take care of themselves. If everybody's taking care of themselves, then, hey, we won't have anything to worry about, right? So um, I just wanted to come in and and give y'all an update and let you know what's going on. I love you. I love you with the love of Jesus. May your tomorrows be better than your yesterdays. Bye.